Hi, this is Dan from 123 Muse, and in this video we're going to show you the social media metadata widget that is part of this month's downloads. Metadata is descriptions or data about your site that is written into your website's code. This is then used by search engines and social media to create a summary of your website. For example, when you paste a URL into Facebook, and you can see the one that I've done here, and you can see what Facebook has pulled up about that website. Facebook searches through the metadata to find a thumbnail image for that website, the title, and a summary description of that site. If the correct metadata is not used, the search engines and social media will still pull up images and text from your site to use in its description, but it may not be the correct information, which will then end up in losing website visitors. So you may have been using metadata in your sites that work on search engines like Google and Yahoo, but social media uses its own metadata structure that needs to be added to your website in addition to the regular search engine metadata. Facebook and Google Plus use a metadata called OpenGraph, or OG, and Twitter uses metadata called Cards. We're going to have an in-depth look at social media metadata in next month's edition of 123 Muse. But we've created a social media metadata widget that will get you started and get your website seen in the right way on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Let's just go over some of the prerequisites to adding social media data. First of all, your site can't be a temporary site, as these sites generally contain code in the background that tells search engines and social media to skip adding anything from the site. For Twitter, you need to submit your website URL to Twitter, which then takes up to 48 hours to ensure that your site complies to all of its standards before allowing the site's meta to be searched. So now that we've gone over that, let's take a look at the widget. So we've opened up a blank page, and this is just to look at how this metadata widget works. You'll find the metadata widget in your folder for this month's um, edition one add-ons of 123Muse and you just grab it and drag it onto the page so here's one that I've already dragged onto the page and we're going to click inside its options to take a look so the two sections of options that we have the first is Twitter and so here we have what the Twitter card title is and this is summary and uh, we want to leave this as summary as Twitter picks up specifically and when it sees that summary is the word, then it knows that it's going to generate a small summary card of your website. Next is the Twitter handle. This is so that it knows what account to attach the Twitter card to. Next is your headline. So this is the little bit of top description that you want to be used as a headline for this particular, for your website. Then is your um, description. Um, which, just as it says, is a little description about your website, just one paragraph or two at the very most. And then the next is an image, and this is the um, thumbnail image that you want to be used as the card thumbnail for the, your website. So you'll enter the exact URL of this. And it is better if you are entering a URL that is inside the same website. So that's it for the basic section about Twitter. And this will ensure that if somebody copies and pastes the URL for your website into Twitter, it will pull up this particular information for it. So you'll have this headline, you'll have your tweet description, and you'll have this image whenever somebody pastes the URL for your website inside Twitter. So that's the Twitter one, and now we'll take a look at Facebook and Google+. So this is almost the same. First of all, you've got your item title, and this is the same as the tweet headline. So this is just the title um, for the website that you're pasting the URL into Facebook. The item data type, which is article. Now I would leave this one as article. There are a number of different um, data types, the same as there are a number of different Twitter card titles, and each do a different thing. But article is going to be the best one um, for the amount of information that we've added into this uh, widget. The next is the page URL. And this is the actual URL of the website that you're wanting to, uh, to have this metadata added about. Uh, following that is an item image, and this is the same as the tweet image. 
This is a thumbnail or a picture that you would like to be used when people paste the URL of your website into Facebook. And then below that is the item description and uh, this is again the same as the tweet description and this is a one two paragraph description short description about the website lastly in the Facebook and Google Plus metadata you have the site name um, which obviously is just the uh, the actual main name of the website it doesn't have to be the full URL as you can see here there's no HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot um, we've just got the website name now below that we have got the Twitter card preview tool and the Facebook post debug tool. First of all we're going to open the Twitter card preview tool. So once open, you've opened that up it will open up the um, card validator inside your browser and uh, as you can see we've already copied and pasted in the URL of the website where our metadata is held and when you click on preview card it then generates this card preview which you can see whether it has pulled up the correct image, whether the image is missing, if any of your information about um, that website is incorrect. And underneath in the log it will tell you of any errors that it has come across which you can then go ahead and take care of. Now we'll take a look at checking our Facebook metadata. We've gone back to Muse and underneath our Twitter card preview tool we have our Facebook post debug tool. So we're going to click on that and that again opens our browser and this time it opens it up to a Facebook page that allows us to check over the metadata um, of our website. So again we've typed in the URL and, um, and this, there's two buttons here. Um, one shows existing data um, so you can always go and check once you've set up your metadata you can always go and check if it's currently holding the correct metadata and when you initially do it and you fetch new scrape data it goes through for the first time and um, changes what it, it holds in its database as your metadata so we have a larger amount of data inside Facebook um, with regards to our metadata um, but as you go through it, it it's very easy to see whether something is correct or incorrect if anything is missing inside this metadata then it will note it on this page and tell you what kind of parts are missing and usually whereabouts they are. Um, for instance if the image, if it's having a hard time pulling up the image um, it will choose another image and so you will notice that hey my image isn't there, what's going on and maybe you entered the URL for that particular image incorrectly. This is a good tool then to ensure that your Facebook metadata is taken care of and works properly. So we've, we can see that our, all of our information here is correct and we're happy with that. Um, so now we can go back to, to our widget in Muse. So we've learned about how social media metadata is different from the general search engine metadata. We've brought the social media metadata widget onto our page We've gone through it, we've checked that everything works okay in both the Twitter card preview tool and the Facebook post debug tool. We'll be having a more in-depth look at social media metadata in our next edition of 123 Muse. So for now, thanks for watching.